to the admin console. One second. I'm just trying to get the ID and password, just a minute. It's sure, confirm. Let's do one thing without wasting the time. Let's quickly begin. So what am I trying to do here? I try to log into the admin console and go into the configuration tab. If you remember on the other day, I tried to talk about something called as an infinite span. If you remember, we tried to discuss about something called as an J groups. Okay, where is the information about this particular J groups is present? Where is the information about this infinite span is present? Okay, if you see the infinite span or the J groups, to get the information related to that, you have to go to the full hyphen HA or the HA profile. Okay, you can try to use either of them. I'm trying to use the HA profile, a full half and HA profile. So when you go to the core here, you see something called as in J groups here. When you click on the J groups, the whatever the protocols which we try to talk about, okay, called as the TCP and the UDP protocols, okay, the information about both of them would be visible here, okay. We'll try to modify this particular group, okay, while we are trying to talk, do the lab related to the web service, okay. But as of now, we'll just try to see the values on the default configuration that is present. So this is something at the J groups level. How about at the infinite span level? When you go to the infinite span, you see something called as cache containers. This is what we discussed on our last session. And here, if you see here, depending upon the type of application I'm trying to have, okay? According to that, we have the EJB, Hibernate, Singleton, and Web. Okay, each and every container is dedicatedly meant for the different types of the requirement we have here. So if you go to the, <coughs> the singleton over here, this is something <coughs> that is by default used in an environment. Okay, by default in your environment, this is something which you frequently and commonly see them, okay? We talked about the EGB, we talked about the Hibernate, we talked about the web. Singleton and the cluster, okay? In a older version, in the, in the older version, we used to call this one as a cluster, cluster contain, cache container, and in the latest version that is from 6.4 and the higher versions, we, uh, I think they have renamed it to the singleton. So singleton is a uh, default 
cluster cache container that is by default used. If you have the applications that are related to the EJBs, as I said on the other day, other day, EJB related container, depending upon the web, okay, web related container would be used. But for all our cluster related communication where we want to store the session and manage the session replication and distribute the session, we try to use something called as an <coughs> sorry, we try to use something called as an uh, cluster in the lower versions and singleton in the latest versions. Anyone, any questions here? So what is the default cache type like? Rep is replication or RPL is nothing but replication. Hibernate is nothing but local query. Singleton is something that is used by default. Singleton is something by used by default. Uh, Shiva, how, what way I can try to find out the properties related to this? Okay, you can try to go here. Okay, for replicated related things. Okay, what are the properties that are there? You can go here. For the distributed caches, okay, you can try to go over here. Okay, so the cache containers are four, which you can get the information, and the properties related to the different cache containers, you can get it here. That's not needed, at least for you guys. Okay, probably if you are trying to go for L4 and above, in those scenarios, you might need to modify the properties. Okay. Anyone, any questions still here? Good. Silence, I'll take it as no. And also, if you remember, during the web server concepts, I 